marks for the uh, dressage. And uh, before us we've got, uh, well, three of our riders that have uh, featured today. Christina Spray, our hands Peter Minderhood, the best of our French ride as well, Mark Bobley. Carl Hester, unfortunately, can't be with us because, um, because Charlotte is about to go into her training session at six o'clock, but has given us some quotes, and uh, we'll chat to you when he can from that point of view. So, a very good day. Unfortunately, it's been a little bit wet. We'll come on to some of that in just a few moments' time. But firstly, to come to the best of the scores of the day, 78 point eight one four and that was uh, Christina Spreyer of Germany congratulations and talking to you you were very happy with your test yes I'm very happy uh, Desperados was really concentrated in the arena he was um, very good to ride I had a lightly or a light um, connection all the time and yes he was uh, really perfect today and the first PF and um, was a bit um, unbalanced, but but later it was it was really good. I think um, it was my best international Grand Prix uh, for a long time. I was going to ask you uh, your preparations through Arken competition there, and then comparing that to here. Uh, how did that compare? Um, with Monica Tirolescu, um I was training um, all the time and uh, uh, we work uh, on the basics and on the um, passage. It was uh, when we see uh, the passage to an Aachen, he was, uh, today he was uh, really uh, good, really clear um, and yes, I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. And, and from your point of view, a, a very good score amongst your score, 78.814. Anything you would change? Anything you think could be better? Very good score indeed. Mm, the first PF um, was a bit unbalanced, but the rest, um, I had a really good feeling and I hope that I can continue my performance for the Spezial. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Hans Peter Minderhood, your ride of uh, Glocks Johnson today. Before we get into your test, unfortunately you had the worst of the weather. You got very, very wet. How was it, the conditions? Um, yeah, the conditions, what you say, it was really wet. And in the warming up, I stayed quite a long time in the, in the tent or in the indoor. But then I thought, okay, I have to go outside and see what he does in the rain. But uh, the footing was... Um, not slippy, but it was really sort of, uh, how do you call it, sticky. Yeah. And, um, and, and I felt it a little bit in the, in the beginning of, of my test, the first uh, extended trot and the first half pass, and I had a little bit the feeling that he was not so expressive and so much forward as he was usual, but then after that, then it went quite well. <laughs> quite well, 74.357, your score today. What sort of score were you looking for? Um, I was looking for a score uh, a bit better than uh, Christina's, but that was, uh, <laughs> that was not so easy today, but um, <clears throat> I hope to, um, to keep the gap a little bit closer. But uh, okay, I had a few small things and overall I was, uh, I was quite happy with the test, but it was not his best test this season and I, I, I was hoping to keep his best test still here but I think I had it a few weeks ago. <laughs> I was going to ask you about your horse Glocks Johnson stepping up into the team first time for here for a championship like that. How did you feel the horse performed? Uh, yeah, really good. Um, uh, when I speak about my horse I, I'm really proud of him. I, I uh, ride him since he was uh, three years old. So I have him in my stable now for uh, almost seven years and um, uh, he's always been breeding a lot and uh, had really two, uh, two jobs to do and I uh, really felt the last two years he's really getting stronger and, and really make the step to the, to the big sport and he did, his first, um, he did his first Grand Prix in January and then I thought oh, I just took him to the World Cup in Neumünster and I thought oh, I'll see how it goes and he was really good there, and he was really good in the World Cup finals in Lyon, and, and uh, so he's he's yeah he's developing really well, and I think there's a lot more um, more um, space to go up with him. But uh, okay, he's he, he doesn't have a lot of experience, and it just needs some more time. How do you think the horse handled the conditions today, based on that? 
uh, yeah, what I said, uh, the, uh, the footing was not not very very um, good to ride on, but um, for the rest with the atmosphere and everything, he was really fine. I mean, he's not spooky and he's quite a quite a uh, clever boy, and he always wants to do the job with you. So uh, that was all good. And of course, for the Netherlands coming in here looking to claim the title again, what are your thoughts on the team? Okay, we uh, know that it's uh, quite difficult to, uh, I mean, to defend our title from um, Kentucky, especially since last week um, clocks on the cover and zero dropped out of the team. But uh, okay, we said, you know, we go for it. If you don't go for it, then you're never going to get it. And I mean, the Germans are like really, uh, really good at the moment. And and Eva and Carl did a really good test. So it's really. Uh, a to see what Edward and uh, Adelinde do tomorrow, but uh, yeah, I'm sure they will do anything um, to perform at their best. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Lots more to come. That yeah. point of view. Uh, you mentioned Carl. Carl, as we mentioned, before she come with us. It's um, Charlotte is about to go in for a training. Well, he's in there right now, as we know. Training, training Charlotte Jardin. To quote him directly, I did have a quick chat with him on the phone, um, and this is direct. Bloody delighted. That they had with his test today, he, they're in the hunt, as you mentioned, against Netherlands and Germany, and delighted with his test. It is a personal best, and the horse at 10 years of age, stepping up there the first year, uh, couldn't have wished for more. So certainly delighted with the performance today, and hopefully we'll catch up with Carl very shortly as well as say he's just gone into training as well, and he's very excited for the competition throughout and seeing a whole list of uh, new results and there are new combinations. Thinks it's going to be very very close when we get into the uh, final stages. Well, also the performances of the French, I'm going to let Sarah come up here as well because we're going to be uh, translating this one. Marc Bobelet with the uh, best of the French performances, 70.86. And Mark, for you, the atmosphere of a first ch world championships here in France, what was the stadium like? Yeah, in fact, uh, that was really, really nice, uh, all the audience. Uh, <laughs> no, okay. We talked about it. Okay, je vais faire en français. Let's go with English. Yeah. On, on était, um, enfin, je suis très content de, de, de ce qui s'est passé sur le stade uh, parce que tout le public était avec nous, on a pu le ressentir et uh, tous les gens applaudissaient vraiment beaucoup et on s'est uh, vraiment senti soutenu. We're delighted with, with what happened out there today. Um, I'm very p happy personally. Um, you could feel that the public was definitely behind us as a French team. Um, we could hear them cheering us on. So yeah, I'm, I'm really delighted with the French support. And Mark, we'll see whether you ask the question in French as well, but your performance today as well, 70.686, happy with your performance, consistent through those for the season for you? Oui, je suis, je suis effectivement assez content de ce qui s'est passé aujourd'hui. Le but, c'était d'arriver à présenter un Grand Prix euh, assez fluide, assez homogène, avec euh, tous les exercices euh, très contrôlés. On sait que le Dream est euh, toujours un petit peu compliqué à gérer, euh, surtout euh, sur des échéances comme celle-ci. Le but étant vraiment de la garder euh, le plus calme possible. Je pense qu'aujourd'hui, c'est vraiment ce qu'on a réussi à faire. Yes, I'm quite happy. The aim was to turn up today and do a good job and uh, give a consistent performance. It's pretty tricky to, to manage performance out there, but certainly, yes, the, the idea today was to stay calm and we did just that. Well, thank you, all three of you. Any questions, brief questions from the floor for our three at the top table?